Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm working on a layout of my own design and I'm documenting opening my birthday gifts on my birthday with a little help here from Buddy as you can see. Chester was um, you know quite chilled there. So um, I'm starting off with this uh, simple story, simple vintage, vintage seas, beach vibes paper and I am using the red and white striped side because it goes perfectly with my birthday jumper. This is Basil Basics textured cardstock and it's Admiral. The colour is Admiral. So I've mounted the pattern paper onto the cardstock and I've cut off half an inch on two sides to make that uh, frame there. Some, car some cardstock from my scraps. It's kind of like a I'm not really quite sure if it's purple, aubergine, that kind of colour. The reason I used it was because I had the scrap and it kind of matched the sofa. So yeah, that was the reason why I used that. Even though I'm kind of going with the red, white and blue theme. If I've got a scrap that fits the purpose, then I will uh, use it. I've got some flare pieces here. I've got some Simple Stories washi tape here from the same collection. And a cele Let's Celebrate little die cut piece there, which is Simple Stories. And I've pretty sure that came from celebrate the birthday themed um, kit, um collection from simple stories i don't know if you can see here i've got my title which i've made from creating from um simple stories color vibe foam alphas in red and i have quite a lot of those left which is a little bit unusual because i like my red and i'm surprised i haven't used them i did buy three packets of those originally when i first bought them but i think it's because it's not a red red it's more like a i don't know coral red it's not a bright red which is the color that i like okay so i've got a four by six photo here and two four by four photos here so if you're a person that likes to scrap multi photos on a layout and um, different sizes and things then this could be the one for you i've mounted the main photo on uh, foam and i'm going to um, pop the other two photos down flat to the page if i can get this uh, glue to stick in the right place that is oh dear i use the textured side of the cardstock i mean i use the flat side of the cardstock this is the textured side this is the flat oh is that textured no that's the flat side and that's the textured side so yeah my intention would have been to have the textured um the textured um side upwards but obviously i hadn't realized that i've done that but that's fine so I think I want them quite low to the page. I'm going to do this with sort of um, the main focus of the layout is on the second, the bottom half of the page with, um, you know, em embellishing scattered, I think. And what was my idea is to um, do a little bit of journaling here and perhaps the date. So I just want to leave a little bit of the white space down at the bottom and I'll more than likely do that in a red uh, uniball pen, fine gel pen. Pop this one on top, uh, cover that little bit of um, packaging there. I, I didn't quite cut that too straight there so that's the reason why uh, I raised this photo on foam and I'm placing it over the others because you know it doesn't really matter about this edge of the photo showing although it is budding the photo it's only as uh, lower back it's not um his face right so i think that, that's fine I think that's okay now then what should we do with these um flare pieces this one says thank you this is poor print and that one's a red and white strap which just you know goes perfectly with the paper and my jumper so um i really wanted to use this washi tape as well just because i've got it and <laughs> You know, I think I'm going to just do it across here. I have a line of it across here. I don't know if that adhesive is going down. I think it is. Yeah, I always like to have, put adhesive under my washi tape. Just don't trust it. Yeah, I'm going to, even though I've already placed that photo down, I'm going to take the opportunity now to add this strip whilst I can. Originally I thought I might put it at the bottom, 
Um, but uh, I wanted to do the writing here, and that's the reason why I did it. Now I'm thinking it would be nice at the top and the bottom. I could do the writing somewhere else, couldn't I? <laughs> oh, gosh. Is that too much? Mm, I think that might be too much. I'm going to, I think for now, I'm going to stick with it in the one place. Maybe regret that later. We'll see. I'll pop this one here. And then this one I've mounted on foam as well. I just went through my little die cuts that I've got. I mean, to be honest, they're in these two little packets here. Um, my sort of birthday ones and Christmas ones or winter ones. And I do, I think I've said before, I do use them. I use the other side of them for journaling and things. But if I'm doing a layout that kind of does relate to what's in there, like birthday or Christmas, I will flick through them to see. But most of them are ones that, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy to use the other side. I've had them for a long time. They've not been used, so, you know quite happy to use them uh, just to use the die cut piece itself as on the blank side now I want this to go tone on tone so I'm putting the title here on the red and it's these foam alphas again they're a little bit flexible kind of have to wiggle them a little bit to get them in place I'm sure I say that every time I use them but they are nice alphas and they do stick well I've got quite a collection of them different colours. I've been using I think I seem to have been using those quite a bit lately on my layouts actually for titles which is generally what I use them for. Please stay still. I don't think I'm going to use any splatter or anything. I've pulled out oh I don't think I showed you I pulled out a few miniature stamps. The ones that I keep on my desk like planner stamps from planner stamp sets. I kind of keep some just on my desk all the time, like little paw prints and um, hearts and things like that. It's a little bit of a tradition in our house that doggies help to open the gifts. Birthdays and Christmas, there they are. Look, paw print, smiley emoji face and a heart. My Elvis used to do it, bless him. And Buddy definitely continues that tradition. So I've got the archival ink pad here in carnation red. And I think I'm just going to stamp one of these each on here. Oops, just dropped that. Sorry about that, if that made you nervous. Makes me nervous too, but I still do it. Right, we'll do the little face. Make sure it's the right way around. Yeah, I really like this little emoji face. With the teeth, the grinning teeth. And a little heart. And all of these are just from various planner stamp sets. There. Just pop those over there. I did get my, um, oh no I didn't, I thought I'd got my ink, my foam piece out, but actually I think that's for previous layout. <laughs> it's just still there, I hadn't put it away. <laughs> Getting myself confused now. Okay, normally I do like to add a little bit of something around my flare pieces but I'm not sure I'm going to do that today um hmm need to do the writing but I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking does it need something else like does it need a bit of twine maybe like white thread or something I'm going to have a look and see what I've got I had a look couldn't find any white but I did pick up my uh my red and white baker's twine so I'm thinking now I may want to use that be a shame not to, wouldn't it, on such a red and white striped layout. And sort of a celebratory layout as well. Um, yeah, be a shame to have it too, you know, too simple. <laughs> Most of my layouts are quite simple, but um, yeah, I do like my embellishments, as you know. Pull that one. Oh, I think I've just torn the paper, but that's fine. I'll glue it down, stick it back, it'll be fine. You won't notice. No one will notice. Especially when I've got this twine around it. I was just trying to give myself a little bit extra. Um yeah. A bit a little bit extra room for the twine there, but it's only I'm only doing like one layer. I mean one 
once round plus a bit extra so I don't really need the extra space. Might have to get rid of some of that excess glue. Pop this piece around here. That. That's fine. adds to it yeah I do like that and um, just need to add the date don't I pop the date down here like that normally I wouldn't do it normally if I'm doing um, shadow stamping I would do it kind of like down like that but because that space is just so perfect <laughs> I thought I'd uh, do it across and it fills it as well so that's you know that's good too Um Body and Chester helping to open. Oh, can I fit in my gifts? I think so. Helping to open my gifts. Obviously, Chester's not helping, but that's part of the. That's part of the. Um, you know the fun of it because it's obviously he's not <laughs> I'm not actually put um I've not actually put birthday on here anyway I mean obviously I know it's my birthday on the 20th of April but um yeah I think I might just see if I can find a little stamp with birthday on it one second okay so I've just picked this stamp out of my um collection I've had this one for many years it is uh, can you read that fun stamps Fun stamps. So it's a UK one. I've had it for several years. I know that it's not not more than likely not available, but other happy birthday stamps are available. I'm just making sure I'm getting plenty of ink on this stamp. If it being a wooden stamp as well, you can't see too well where you're stamping, so I have to hope that I get it in the right place. Especially as I've already got that flare there. Oh yeah, perfect. Good. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I put that on there now. <laughs> you know, obviously, well, it's not obvious that it's birthday, is it? We're celebrating. Uh, I think this might be finished. Let's make that look more like a H there. Hmm, I'm still thinking, oh, I'm still wanting to add more of that washi tape, you know. I think... Don't think it, I'm not sure it'll look right there then, will it? Mm. Yeah, I can't decide. Could do. I quite like the text that's printed on the paper as well though. Um. Hmm. Can't decide on that one. I'm going to leave it off. Okay, so um a photo um three photo layout sort of um, grouped at the bottom of the layout with scattered embellishing which is what I like to do a little bit stamping here and there some flare pieces die cut title all things from my stash that I've had for a little while nothing don't think there's anything particularly new on this layout so that's good a stash buster we all like a stash buster don't we so once again uh, thank you for joining me stay safe take care and I shall see you next time